what's up guys, Apple is back at it again today, seeding the third beta iteration of iOS 11.3 to registered developers. So if you guys want to download this software today, don't forget to check the description of this video to download the developer beta configuration profile to get you on your way to installing iOS 11.3 beta 3. Anyway, to get this out of the way, the build number is 15E5189F, and of course, this was released today on February 20th. But in today's video, I first and foremost just wanted to let you guys know that iOS 11.3 beta 3 has been released, and then I wanted to install it on one of my spare devices so you guys can see what that looks like and what some of the Geekbench scores are on this new OS. But really, if you guys are interested in jailbreaking, I would highly advise to avoid this OS entirely and to stay on the lowest possible iOS firmware that you can. That's why I'm just making today's video so you guys can check out iOS 11.3 beta 3 without actually having to install it for yourselves and losing your opportunity to jailbreak. So if I head into the software updates page within the settings app, you can see that iOS 11.3 beta 3 pretty much has the same description as some of its previous betas. It just fixes bugs and adds minor improvements to the OS. So coming from 11.3 beta 2, on my iPhone 6S Plus, it looks like it's going to be around a 330 megabyte update, but again, that size will also depend on what iOS iteration you're updating from and which device you have. Anyway, just while we get this out of the way while it's installing, I ran a quick Geekbench score on 11.3 beta 2, and here are the scores. The single core score is 2462, and the multi core score is 4387, and once iOS 11.3 beta 3 is finished installing, I will run a quick Geekbench on that to see if there is really any substantial changes in the speed of this new OS. Alright, and now that my device has updated to iOS 11.3 beta 3, I'm just going to head into the settings app and show you guys that it successfully is running this new beta build. And once that is done, I'm just going to head out of the settings app and navigate to Geekbench and run another Geekbench test. So the scores for iOS 11.3 beta 3, the single core score ended up coming out to be 2551 and it had a multi-core score of 4405. So as we can see, this is ever so slightly better than that of beta 2, but really I don't know if you would actually notice this in day-to-day -day use. In any case, it's nice to see that Apple is still improving the speed of their OS, and considering how fast this is, it's really nice to see how well iOS 11.3 is performing even though it's still in beta stages. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up today's video on iOS 11.3 beta 3. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up anyway again if you guys are looking to jailbreak do not update to this software that being said if you are not interested in jailbreaking and or if you have a spare device and want to check out this firmware i would highly suggest to check it out because 11.3 adds a ton of new features compared to 11.2.6 and previous versions of ios 11. also as a quick side note all of the beta iterations of ios 11.3 already incorporate all of the fixes that were pushed yesterday in iOS 11.2.6's updates because iOS 11.3 already had addressed the character bug that caused many iOS apps and devices to crash. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video again, and until next time, this is Tony, signing out.